Hello and good morning. Last video we talked about how much is your salary and your expenses in four of the countries Czech Republic, Germany, Belgium and Turkey. So you can compare like how much people make the money, how much are their expenses, how much is the rent and how good or moderate lifestyle they can have. The other question is most of the people who would like to come here want to buy their own apartment or a house. So I will show in this video how are the apartments and um, general apartments which people normally live uh, with the area of 65 meters square and larger with minimum of two bedrooms how much they cost how much are the rent of these properties and if you want to take it as a hypothek or a mortgage from the bank how much money you have to pay and is it really profitable or a good decision to do it now so let's start quickly i hope it helps you can see the previous video and then come to this one so let's say in czech republic if you want to have a three plus one which is actually a two bedroom apartment in um, any of this known city let's say in liberes Brno, ostrava or even in prague so anything 65 meter square plus with two bedroom minimum it start with 180,000 euro there might be some possibilities some in the small towns or out of the city you may get something cheaper again you have to do a lot of work on it but anyhow from 180,000 a livable apartment exists uh, on the other side in Germany it uh, has a big range because if you go out of city you may get it even cheaper but 245,000 because I am comparing where I live now and if I go in any of these places with some job offer so this will be my ideal choice for it so it's not the uh, most luxurious or uh, extraordinary just my focus is it should be uh, two bedroom it should be near to the uh, basic facilities around it like school and hospital or market etc and shouldn't be very very far from the city so in Czech Republic 180,000 it starts in Germany 245,000 Belgium almost similar 230 but the availability in Belgium is much more than Germany and in Turkey is a uh, significant difference is there and it's around 65,000 euro that you can find something in a good livable condition houses usually the areas are much bigger there 65 meters square is considered little small according to Turkey so the rent of these apartments in Czech Republic 580 euros is uh, little high according to what people earn but that's the money and in Germany around 1500 and Belgium also 1600 very similar and in Turkey it's around 450 which is a little more than according to the actual price of the house so renting a house in Turkey is much more profitable than any other of uh, these uh, countries so how is the mortgages nowadays so mortgages percentage is especially for a, a layman for a basic person is quite complex like the percentage doesn't give you the uh, real numbers because you are more concerned about how much money I will give it back in total how much long the time is and then yearly also there are some taxes to it so let's say the inflation marketed inflation according to them they give some number the government gives some number that this is my interest rate for the hypothek or for the mortgage so in Czech Republic Germany and Belgium it's a very similar range I think is controlled by the European Union so from 3.8 to 4.5 percent is going down slowly but uh, if you think in 2019 and 20 it was in very good uh, 1.4 1.2 it was going on 1.5 was very normal but now it's high but I think it will go down slowly in Turkey it's little complex I uh, I, I think there are some numbers which shows around 9.5 or to 11 percent but uh, I think my next part of it will explain it much better because in uh, Czech Republic Germany and Belgium you can take it for 30 years that's a really long time but in Turkey you are allowed only for 10 years when you calculate the minimum deposit because you have to put some money to uh, take this apartment so in uh, Czech Republic and Germany Belgium you can go from 15% also 15% till 25% is the ideal condition you may get the uh, this loan or this mortgage but in Turkey it's around 45% because of the rate 
change of the lira so the bank is a little afraid that maybe the prices will change so they think that if you pay almost half of it they are also in a uh, quite uh, secure position because last three four years ago bank gave a lot of loans and then inflation happened their currency became down and uh, three times their currency changed the value so bank became in a big loss so less now these numbers just show you the uh, comparison but if you are going to take the mortgage let's compare the europe and the turkey how it is in terms of real numbers let's take an example of uh, uh, czech republic i am taking uh, a buying apartment for uh, apartment or a house for 5 million that means around uh, uh, 200,000 euro and I say I have 4.2 I want to take it that means around 800,000 I have with me I will give it to you but 4.2 million I'm going to take it as a mortgage uh, the salary I put over there that I have something around 40 and my expenses are around 10 not true because if you are putting anything uh, more than 10 let's say you put 20,000 your expense you will not be even approved so that means either you have two salaries or you have one salary which is higher than 50000 check around as a net salary you will be eligible so it's highly possible that in europe less than 2000 euro of net salary you will not be able to even qualify for the hypothetical i put a fixation of 5 years that means in 5 year they will not change the interest rate even though it will go down or it doesn't matter nowadays is going down so people try to have a small fixation they think after one or two year it will uh, go much down than this but in the last uh, few years people didn't do this fixation and the price increased so their interest rate increased a lot so it's better to fix it but you never know it will go down or up but nowadays the trend is going down all around the world so how much you will pay if you are taking 4.2 million you will be paying for 30 years monthly payment of 23000 check around that means around 1000 euro you will pay interest will be around 4.3 they are uh, making an average of it because there is a yearly increase and then there is a fixation and after fixation they will also change it like it's possible these numbers can change but most important for you as a layman is you are taking from them 4.2 million you are returning them back 8.4 million two time the difference is there that means you take 100 you return back 200 even little more than 200 so is it really in your favor now answer is yes and no uh, most of the people do not take uh, 4.2 or 5 million they already have half of the money second one they think that if we take it now after few year already the inflation happen rate change and this 4.2 million is not same after 10 year or 20 years and in europe it is possible that when you have the money with a small punishment or sometime with no punishment you can completely pay the money so most of the people have this idea in mind 23000 is quite high over here for 30 years and in normal people salary in czech republic they will not even get authorized to have this kind of loan because anything above 15 or 12000 they don't think that it is a Uh, possible for even for a family to pay like this and to avoid this risk they uh, reject the application so not many applications are getting accepted if you have a uh, that much high amount of loan so it uh, should be in your mind that if it is around 25 or 30 percent of your total salary you'll get the approval very quickly if not you can show different like you have a partner and together you are putting yes you have better chances now let's uh, this is the same for all for in germany or belgium the thing is almost similar calculations are there and if you pay if you take a loan of 100 you will pay back 200 this is the rate nowadays going on which is very different from the last 4 5 years let's see for uh, turkey turkey give it maximum for 10 years and that means 120 months country is little afraid banks are afraid that things can change very quickly Uh, the percentage over here does not matter the thing that matters for you is that every if you take 1 million so that means around 30000 euros you take it from the bank and that is around 1 million lira you are going to pay every month 32000 lira that is also around 1000 euros every month but in total you will pay back 3.85 million that means that four time the difference will happen like if you take 1 million you are paying back 4 million 
there's a very huge difference in turkey as compared to the europe so i don't think turkey is a good uh, place to have a mortgage and buy this uh, property on the other side the monthly payment is 32000 lira any apartment you are renting it will not get you more than 20 or 25000 lira so 32000 is too much for paying every month their rents are good comparative to their uh, total uh, total price but taking it from the bank is not a good idea i hope from this video you get an idea that in europe what are the prices of small apartments normal family apartments how much are their rents and is it good to take it from the banks or not i don't think it's the best time now to take it but the trend will happen in less than 6 months that it will be more uh, feasible let's say if it is under 3% and uh, you are paying not two times of it and you are not taking the loan for complete 30 years i think it will be uh, quite in that uh, range that in which normal people can have a house or a apartment from the hypothek or from the mortgage from a bank i hope it helps you and get an idea of uh, this uh, real estate if you have any question write me and i hope to see you in the next video till that time goodbye